Hi everyone, I'm here today with Prasad and I thought I'd take a, uh, use of this opportunity to talk to him about a few questions we have as yoga students. My first question, Prasad, is what do you think is the most important thing for a yoga student? Uh, <clears throat> uh, the most important thing for a yoga student or somebody who's on a path of yoga, I feel is uh, their uh, their practice their sadhana okay what would you define sadhana or practice as since we see in different magazines <clears throat> and in different dvds here is a practice for twists or here is a practice for back bending or for things like that can you define what a yoga practice is for a dedicated mm -hmm. yoga student yeah. Now, this is a very, very important question because uh, uh, in uh, Sanskrit, the, the main language of yoga, the term practice is understood as um, sadhana. Mm -hmm. But when it is translated in English, it becomes the word practice. Now, practice could be any act, right? A practice of eating, a practice of praying. Uh, practice of sleeping mm -hmm. but sadhana doesn't mean any general action mm -hmm. sadhana means some action that is done diligently faithfully patiently and with a deep sense of um, reverence respect so when uh, we understand uh, sadhana in, in terms of traditional yoga we look at it not as a chore, mm -hmm. but but the the aspect of heart also comes in it. The aspect of uh, respect and reverence also comes in it, mm -hmm. and that is what gives uh, the yogi uh, a constant motivational push. Mm -hmm. Because as we know, uh, practice, as we call it, can become a chore. Mm -hmm. Right. We do it one, one month or two months and then it becomes very monotonous and then we lose our uh, practice and then we feel bad about ourselves and you mm -hmm. know the whole cycle and we all know the whole cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is why it is important to define the practice for ourselves. Nobody can tell you what the practice is except your teacher, your guru. Uh, practice can mean many things to many people. Nowadays, what has happened in modern yoga, practice has become asana. Mm -hmm. So people think practice only means going on a mat, doing some asanas and that's it. No, but in traditional sense, sadhana or the yogic practice has a wider connotation. Mm -hmm. I look at my yoga practice as a 24-7, 365 practice. I don't look at my practice as something that I do uh, every day for half an hour or 15 minutes, you know. Mm -hmm. I look at my yoga sadhana as moment to moment practice. Mm -hmm. For me, I define practice as cultivating moment to moment awareness uh, of my deeper self, trying to uh, live my truth and uh, just trying to be in peace and clarity of my intention. So I feel that modern yoga needs to look at uh, practice in a broader mm -hmm. sense. The broader the definition of practice, the bigger, uh, the wider the scope mm -hmm. of its benefits would be. If you just define your practice as uh, asana practice, then the benefits will be mostly physical and a little psychological but if you broaden the benefit of uh, broaden the definition of practice it will be um, it will encompass a wider scope okay thank you thank you